the Viking flagship maiden chase is next end two and a half miles this time access prospector for hems at the top Cabisas Rubias for Darren Thompson pure force for C bet with Annie Walker T Rogers Bobby XL Graham Clutterbuck, Capstick, Oleander, Davy Ladd, Cleopatra, Paul Rhodes, Eleanor Rigby, Martin Leland, Footprints, Leon Van Rensburg, In the Nick of Time, Joshua Sutherland, Cordes Obo for Vinnie Gerard, Mrs. Jody for Derek Hinton, and Petrov Nadella for James Shea. So it's starting to rain, and away they go. Always used to rain in SO6 for the jump in. It's the first rain we've seen so far in SO7. And past the winning post, there they've got another couple of circuits to do. And Pure Force is the early leader from Cleopatra in second. Bobby XL is third. And then two in very similar colours. Identical colours, I think. As long as we can't have two runners this week. So we've got two trainers with the same colours. I'll have to keep an eye on that one later in the season. They might be slightly different, actually. Difficult to tell at the moment. But it's Pure Force who's gone into a clear lead Racing towards the first fence then, and over that one they all go. Good quick jump there by Eleanor Rigby in the purple jacket, but it's Pure Force who is the leader by about four. To Bobby XL second, and then Cordes Oboe, Vinny Gerard having a bash over the sticks this season as they go to this big ditch. And all over that one okay with Annie Walker and Mrs. Jody the back two. Annie Walker, oh, oh mistake there from. And a rugby Annie Walker was a character in Coronation Street back in the 60s, if everybody remembers that, or probably in the 70s as well. I don't know if there's another Annie Walker that is named after. Yeah, probably that one. I'll keep our eyes open for Albert Tatlock and Ina Sharples next week. And Pure Force is the leader then. Um, Cordes Oboe second, then Petrov Nadella. And in the nick of time then Bobby XL and Cleopatra. Cabizas Rubias and Capstick Oleander. After that one then Eleanor Rigby. Footprints is after that then Access Prospector, Annie Walker and finally Mrs Jody at the back for Derek Hinton. So pure force then into the fifth and a mistake that time was by Cavias Rubias I think. It's a short run to the sixth and the slow jump that time was the great. That's Capstick Oleander and it's pure force Who's the leader from Cordes Obo second, then Petrov Nadella on the inside of in the nick of time as they skip over number seven. And Annie Walker and Mrs. Jody the back two. Mrs. Jody finding the pace a little bit hot at the moment. They've only got a mile and a quarter to go. And they're coming up past the winning post with a complete circuit to go. And the race is going pretty quickly so far. And pure force is in the lead by about four lengths to in the nick of time, Cordes Obo, Bobby Excel and Petrov Nadella. Pretty much in a line, then a gap to Cleopatra and Footprints and Eleanor Rigby tucked in behind them. Wide on the track is Access Prospector, the grey capstick Oleander after that one with Cabias Rubias on that one's inside. Bit of a gap then back to Annie Walker and an even bigger gap back to Mrs. Jody. So racing towards the next fence they go then. And pure force. Takes it in the lead. Not such a quick jump this time though. The pack are closing with Bobby XL. Oh, that's really creeping through nice there's footprints for Leon van Rensburg in the nick of time is also going well Eleanor Rigby has switched to the outside and is creeping into it as well then Cordes Oboe as they take that big ditch and they're all over that one okay they're taking on trust that Mrs Jody's got over it at the back but it's pure force still in the lead as they take the tenth pure force in front run Petrov Nadella jumped that really well in second in the nick of time is keeping Eleanor Rigby wide then come Bobby XL and footprints and Cordes Oboe and Access Prospect are also trying to run Nice Cleopatra as they take that big ditch. That was the 11th. They've got three more fences to take. And Pure Force is in the lead from Petrov Nadella. Bobby XL on the inside. Eleanor Rigby going wide. Then Cordes Oboe in the nick of time. Then Footprints after that one. Cleopatra and Cavizas Rubias trying to get into it as well. But it's Bobby XL who now takes the lead. Bobby XL from Pure Force in second. Then Petrov Nadella and Eleanor Rigby. Then comes Cordes Oboe and in the nick of time. And Footprints. Cavizas Rubias after that. Difficult to see anything else get into it. This is the third last. Over it they're going a good quick jump by the leader Bobby XL could this be a quick fire double for Graham Clutterbuck who did heat you the last it's the second last fence and over it now and it's Bobby XL in the lead from pure force a long time leader then Eleanor Rigby then comes Cabby's ass Ruby ass and footprints trying to run this is the final fence and up to it they come and the leader gets over it in the lead 
Bobby XL, but now being pressed by Petrov and Nadella, and then another Rigby after that one in pure force. And Petrov and Nadella on the outside. Bobby XL's trying to fight back. Bobby XL's fighting back on the inside, but Petrov and Nadella right at that line. It's just Bobby XL's got up to take it. Bobby XL is the winner. Petrov and Nadella second. Footprints ran on from nowhere. And they all got round. And this is Jody was the last one to finish. And it looked like Petrov and Adela was going to steal that. But Bobby XL got back up again. And Graham Clutter got two winners on the opening day. And no doubt be giving himself pretty stiff handicap marks for those wins. <laughs> Bobby XL takes it for Graham Clutter. Then Petrov and Adela for James Shea in second. Pure Force C. Beckwith for third. Footprints for Leon van Rensburg running the fourth. And Capstick Oleander for Davy Ladd was fifth.